Hello, welcome to CTV News Direct. I'm Sarika Segal. An Ontario construction firm has been found guilty of criminal negligence causing death. This is for an accident that killed four of its workers. A judge fined Metron Construction $200,000, saying the company had made serious breaches of safety rules leading to a scaffolding collapse three years ago. Four men plunged 13 stories to their deaths after the scaffolding failed. A fifth survived with serious injuries. Labor activists said they wanted to see jail time, not just fines. Joining us now in studio to discuss more on this is uh, Nancy Hutchison with the Ontario Federation of Labor. Uh, are you satisfied with today's outcome? No, not at all. Uh, Sarika, we are very disappointed with this ruling today and actually it's uh, another tragedy in this case and it's devastating for workers and all Ontarians because what this did, it did not create a deterrent for employers and corporations to put safety of their workforce as number one in their workplaces and in their boardrooms. What kind of a reaction is it getting within your community? It's getting an outrage. It's, uh, workers are devastated, they're, they're up in arms, saying if a company can kill four workers at a work site and permanently disable a, a fifth worker, and a fine that is uh, put down today levied at $200,000, if that isn't enough, to give us a good judgment, a strong judgment by the courts for the Criminal Code of Canada to be enforced, then what will? So what kind of a message do you think this sends to companies? Sends I mean, a, com a lot of what you're saying. Well, it sends to companies that this is business as usual, that they can t continue the practices that they've always done. They can bury this fine in a budget line somewhere in their uh, annual reports, and it will go unnoticed. And there must be jail time for employers that are charged with criminal negligence causing death. Every corporation, every management person, every CEO today should have been shaking in their boots as to what might happen in the courts to send a message that this will not be tolerated in Ontario and in fact in Canada. On average approximately how many workplace injuries happen in Canada? In Canada a thousand a year. So when you think of that, uh, that's uh, you know just far too many in in Canada. It's the, it equals to about 80 to 90 in Ontario alone. But when you think there's over three fatalities a day that take place uh, across Canada, and that doesn't even um, Serica include occupational diseases, workers who die of occupational disease. These are what we call traumatic fatalities that take place in the workplace immediately. Which industry or occupation is most at risk? Well, there's a number of them and of course uh, from yesterday we saw there was another worker killed in the construction industry. Of course the mining industry is incredible, uh, has incredible hazards. Uh, we have the agricultural industry which is a surprise to most as being uh, very dangerous, a lot of critical injuries and of course anything dealing with uh, forestry. But if you look at certain hazards such as workplace violence, you have to look at sectors such as the education and the healthcare sector which have incredible risks regarding workplace violence. There is always that uh, discussion, right? In a lot of these cases, is it the company or also the fact that uh, um, a worker may not be following s proper safety standards? Well, we've got to look at the fact that at the end of the day that the companies are ultimately responsible for the health and safety of their workforce at the workplace and they have to provide the proper training, the proper tools for the job, they have to provide the proper safety equipment and the proper instruction. So if they fail to do that, the workers are you know, at a disadvantage of having the right uh, uh, tools for the job, the right safety equipment to even put on. Often, as in a case like this, that English wasn't the first language of this worker, these workers. So uh, were they given training? Were they given instruction? Were they told uh, about the risks of, at work? Were they given the proper safety equipment? No, they weren't. So that is always a factor. And employers, as a matter of fact, uh, always, uh, many employers always look to the workers to blame the worker for, for accidents and fatalities. But you must go back to the root causes. And usually when it gets to the situation of a fatality or a critical injury, then there has been a long-standing culture of apathy of health and safety by the employer in that workplace. Nancy, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, sir. Nancy Hutchison with the Ontario Federation of Labour. And uh, four people are still missing following Thursday's landslide in southeast.